Hi patients, could you comment on uh, on the form of co-creation of more sustainable cooking practices in the slums of Kampala? We have seen how women together with NGOs and uh, CBOs work together to improve the practice of cooking. So the form of co-creation we analyzed in more detail is the co-creation of new everyday routines. Cooking is uh, very much a subject of routinization um, and the more ingrained and anchored the routines, the more difficult they are to change for a more healthier, sustainable alternative. Even if NGOs and CBOs would uh, be able to generate enough financial resources for innovations, this in itself would not be enough for the transition to occur. So where does your project on the urban nexus of water, energy and food here in Kampala lead us to? Um, our research in Kampala started with our conviction that a transition to sustainable cooking and clean air plays out in the everyday lives of Kampala citizens. Therefore, a solution has to be something that actually fits their everyday lifestyles in dealing with the urban nexus of water, energy and food, rather than being a, a technological optimum. Mm -hmm. We've also found that although charcoal is an integral part of daily cooking, it is becoming expensive for households and thus affecting food choices. For example, where a household may have preferred to cook beans, they may now choose alternatives that cook faster and use less charcoal. Mm -hmm. um, we've also seen that uh, how water is related to uh, charcoal in informal areas. Water fetched from springs and wells has to be boiled before consumption. However, as charcoal becomes more expensive, fewer households are able to do this consistently. Uh, thus, for a successful transition towards healthier cooking routines, co-creation turns out to be indispensable. Without understanding how women do the actual cooking, mm -hmm. or how the vendors and transporters of charcoal behave, it will be hard to begin this transition. Co-creation in the form of focus groups and participant observation of everyday life among the women can tell NGOs, CBOs, technology developers and other stakeholders what not to do, what mistakes mm -hmm. are to be avoided. Mm -hmm. Living labs in informal settlements for the co-creation of new cooking technologies and practices of cooking, production, selling and distribution of water are among the feasible options for the future. Okay. And what about the government? Um, in Kampala, there are many grassroots activities that are directed towards improving the living conditions of uh, the residents of informal settlements. In that sense, co-creation of new cooking practices can be seen as part of the wider range of grassroots activities that challenge the municipal authorities to deliver basic services in a more effective and accessible manner. Uh, but in the absence of effective governance strategies, it is likely that citizens themselves, together with CBOs and uh, NGOs that support them, will remain for now the main actors in the co-creation of sustainable cooking and a sustainable energy system. Okay, thank you.